130 years ago, Thomas Edison was working on the light bulb. He tried to get this light bulb to light 500 times, 800 times. This is the DNA of GE. We don't quit. We continue to innovate till the light comes on. Since its founding 130 years ago, GE has focused on inventing the future of industry. In aviation, that means inventing the future of flight. In healthcare, we're driving innovation in precision health to address clinical challenges. And in the energy field, we're supporting our customers to provide affordable, reliable, and sustainable power. G Health has been in the region for more than 100 years, so we want to participate in shaping the sure. landscape for this region as we go forward. In the region, aviation is extremely important. If you take a radius of an eight-hour flight from this region, anywhere, any direction, you will hit about two-thirds of the population of this planet. Aviation is in the center of the action. The reason the MENA region is very important for innovation, it's the challenging environment that this region is in the hot temperature, the sand in the air. So that challenges the technology and pushes us to be better. Innovation is extremely important in our industry. We support innovation in aerospace and aviation. We participate in the region specifically. We have our engineering and technology center. We use all the massive data that comes from the aircraft. We build algorithms on the performance of these engines to predict the life forward for these engines. These engines were designed and built 10, 15 years ago. We had the foresight back then to look forward to see what is needed. Energy is key to any region, particularly in this part of the world where there's an abundance of natural resources. The oil and gas sector continues to play a vital role, providing employment opportunities and export revenues. Having a robust power infrastructure also sustains that economic growth and supports the development of the region's energy-intensive sectors. The energy trilemma is balancing reliable, affordable, and sustainable power with the rising energy demand of the rest of the world. Managing the energy transition journey is making sure we address climate change while simultaneously ensuring energy security. So it's not a one-size-fits-all approach. And the answer doesn't sit within one specific technology or fuel, but rather a combination of technologies and energy sources. We still have half a billion of people lacking access to reliable power. And here in the GCC alone, peak electricity demand is expected to reach around 250 gigawatts by 2030. From a technology standpoint, we believe the answer lies in accelerated investments in renewable energy and gas and hydrogen to enable substantial reductions in emissions in the fastest way while maintaining energy security. It's important to note that billions of dollars have been invested in existing gas power infrastructure. These assets cannot all be retired all at once, but what we can do is reduce the carbon footprint of many of them. We have a growing population in the MENA region, and that population has increasing expectations from the healthcare system. And we're here to help governments and private hospitals lower cost while improving the quality of care for the patients. Some part of the region are really looking for accessibility, access to healthcare. And in other part of the region, we're really at the forefront of technology, looking at digitization, harnessing AI, and making sure that that is used to drive better patient outcome. Healthcare will be much more around AI. Healthcare is much more going to be around the data, connecting around the patient. So it's going to be, how do we connect a lab exam to a CT scan, to anything that that, that patient's gone through to be able to define what we call precision healthcare for that patient that would allow us to develop a tailored plan to treat a particular patient. In some of those markets where we're driving digitization, Command Center plays a key role. Command Center is basically a real-time view of open operation of the hospital. It tracks the beds, it tracks the staff, it tracks the equipment, and at any given point in time, it gives you a real-time view of what's happening in the hospital. We're moving from reactive uh, monitoring to proactive monitoring. So we now, for example, proactively monitor certain parameters of a machine so that we can detect the fault before it happens. We detect the fault before it happens and we solve it. Therefore, less downtimes for hospitals, for clinicians, more use of the machine and better patient outcome. 
It's quite exciting to see the region's efforts to shape the future of energy through investments in utility scale renewables, green and blue hydrogen, ammonia and carbon capture technologies. The efforts being undertaken can really serve as pilots and eventually be scaled up to the benefit of the world. Healthcare is going more towards precision medicine. Rather than treating everybody the same way, is using data, using the algorithms that we've developed to treat patients individually based on their needs and to maximize the chances of success of that treatment. Imagine in the next 40 or 50 years what we will do. GE is built on innovation in the last 130 years, and I believe in the next 130 years, we will continue this legacy.